I'm frequently asked how to set up the eProductivity reference database and link it to your eProductivity enabled mail file. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my reference and have that linked. Now to prepare for this, I have my live reference database, which you can see here, and I just have all of my various reference items grouped by category. And I also have a sample mail database that I have created and it is just set up. I've pasted some sample emails in here and I have the default outline entries. And you'll notice there's no option to file in a reference. Let's take a look at how we do this. The first step is to make a doc link to the reference database as it exists on your local hard drive. So that means if you have not already done so, select local as the location for your reference database and then right mouse click on the icon and choose Application Copy as Link. Now if you're using Lotus Note 7, you'll want to choose Database Copy as Link. What that does is that places a database link on the clipboard that will open this reference database. The next step is to go into eProductivity and open up the eProductivity Preferences. Once you've opened up the eProductivity Preferences, you can go to the General and Reference tab, and there you will find the Personal Reference Database. I'm going to click Paste from Clipboard, and that puts the database link into the field. If I want the reference database to appear on the Navigator, I will go to the Navigation tab and indicate that I want the Personal Reference Database to appear. And Save and Close. That's all I need to do to configure the reference database. Now to test this, you need to close out of your eProductivity enabled mail file and then go back into it. Now the reference database appears as an option on the navigator. That means that you can do two things. Number one, open your reference database simply by clicking on it from within the navigator and you'll see that you can navigate within the reference database on the right and you can navigate within your contexts on the left. The other thing that you can do from your email is you can drag and drop things into the reference database. Suppose, for sake of argument, Kathy has just sent me some information on the new Acme photocopier, and I want to store that somewhere. It's not anything that I need to keep in my email, but I don't want to lose it either. So I can just drag and drop that onto the reference database icon and eProductivity will automatically move that into my reference database and prompt me to select a category. So I'll go ahead and file that under Quick Reference and Save. When I'm done with that, I can actually delete the item from my inbox because the item is over in my reference database. So now I can go into my reference database, I can scroll down and I'll find the information that I have just filed away in my reference database. So once again to review, in order to set up the reference database in eProductivity, the process is to right mouse click on the reference database icon and select application copy as link, or if you're using notes 6 or 7, database copy as link. Once you've copied the link to the clipboard, then go into your mail file, open up the preferences, go to the general reference database tab and paste the database link into the designated field. Go ahead to the navigation and enable this database to appear on the outline. Now remember you have to save and close the preferences and then go completely out of your email database in order for the reference database to be added to the navigator on the left hand side. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll be posting more at the Inside eProductivity web blog. Take care and have a productive day.